Hey everyone, this is Mr. Everything, and today I want to show you how to uh, block ads on iOS. This is right now on my iOS 10, I think, dot two. Doesn't really matter, it should work, obviously, in the future. The last one of these I did was a few years ago, I think, already, because time flies, but uh, this is a different application by the same developer, but I think this one works a lot better. So just go to the App Store and type in Ad Block. It's not the ad block from uh, browsers or Chrome or desktop. This is made by a different one. I believe that ad block was uh, banned or from the App Store. You can see here it is with the logo, the old school. But I think this is just some random person that made it, and I'm not certain about that. And as with any app, I mean, there's other ones I'm sure you can download that'll work. But this one works for me, so this is what I'm gonna. It's this one right here with the orange logo. I already bought it. It is a dollar ninety nine. So keep that in mind, but I, I think it's worth it, I really do. So you can see how simple this is. It, it's really about as easy as it gets. So now again, with this developer, if you go to related, this was the original one I installed in a few years ago. I used this one, Weblock. Uh, it's made by the same developer, I believe it was also $1.99. I've been using it for a while. You can see the reviews aren't as great, and I'll tell you why. So, I wouldn't recommend this one. So, if you get just the ad block, once you install it, you go into the app, and uh, when you do it, it'll be disabled, of course. And then you'll slide up to enable it, and it will use a VPN. Uh, it shouldn't affect anything. My speeds haven't gone down. No one's still on my information, so there shouldn't be anything to worry about. You'll slide up, and I believe you'll get a prompt saying allow, or this app wants to access VPN, you'll have to allow it. You do have settings, but they're very bare bones in this one. There is this uh, thing here, but uh, I don't even mess with it. It's fine on default settings. And what I like the most about this is the widget. So you can install a widget here. I put mine at the bottom, and then it's as simple. If you don't want to use it, it's off. And if you want to use it, it's back on. It might take a few more seconds, actually. Like if you have a web page up, you might have to refresh it. But that's how quick it is. Now compared to Weblock, which I used to use, which it's not impossible. What you do is you would set it up. I have it disabled because I don't use it anymore. And I don't know if I should, if the link matters, but you can see that would enable it, and then that will disable it. And you have all these lists, which are confusing to me. I don't know which ones to select, but you can, you know, pick certain things like you can block Pandora ads, but I don't think that works. It used to, but I don't think it does anymore, or at least it did on Android with a different app. But this is an Android, of course. So. To do this one, you had to go into your Wi-Fi settings, change the proxy to auto, type in or paste the link they give you, and then anytime you wanted to uh, turn it off, you had to come in here, shut it off, uh, reconnect the Wi-Fi, and then, then it would. So it's just so much more simple to let this other one just hit that and you're done, and you don't have all these confusing settings. And this one, there was a glitch I actually had. Well, when I got my new iPhone, I couldn't get that weblock link to paste. It just wouldn't stick in the Wi-Fi settings. So I tried this new one. Uh, but a problem I had with Weblock was when you would load a page of, for, it was, wasn't if it was a few, like eBay was one of them. You can see that it finished loading, there's no circle. Try Amazon, did it see, see it's loading? And then it completes. Back when I had uh, Weblock installed, it would just continuously load, load, load. Now if you're on Wi-Fi, you're not losing data, but at the same time it is leaching. So you'd have to manually tell it to stop and there was nothing I could do I would try and copy like the link or whatever and put it into a whitelist so it would uh, omit it and it would never work it would just get no matter what website it would never finish loading if there were certain ads that it would block but it would keep trying to download them with uh, ad block this never happens you can see everything loads completely now these ads do show up compared to with weblock, I think it would block them, but these are Amazon ads, so they're not as intrusive. Um, see, that must be an outside eBay app, so it's blocked. But I don't mind the eBay ads, that's fine to me. So I would highly recommend Adblock. 
again, a dollar ninety-nine. I haven't had any glitches with it. It actually works better than Weblock did. It works with iOS 10, and it should be supported up through the future. Just how any app should continue to be supported. So I highly recommend this app, and hopefully that'll help you block ads on iOS. Uh, it doesn't work in YouTube. I did notice for whatever reason a lot of ads don't show up in YouTube. It must be a glitch or something. It's, it's, when you use the app, they rarely show up for whatever reason. Uh, and that's about it. So it definitely works in browser. It doesn't matter which one. I was in Chrome. So in the event of me just going on forever, hope this helped you out. And uh, thanks for watching. If it helped you, please give me a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.